everyone, and welcome to the video that everyone seems to want to see at the moment. I am going to be mixing all of my foundations today, and I am very excited that I'm doing this after my foundation declutter of this year because, oh my gosh, if I had to mix all of my foundations, oi, 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 that would be a very long video. Thankfully, at the moment, I have got my foundation collection down to 27 foundations, which I know to some people is like insane, which to be fair, agreed, but many of those are actually foundations that I'm going to be getting rid of because I've been doing my foundation follow-up thing, and so I have found out that some of the foundations that have just been meh on me, because, you know, I test out a lot of foundations here on my channel, I just decided I, I don't like them after further testing. That being said, I still mixed those in, so we shall see. I mean, I think the whole, like, theory behind this video is that mixing all of the foundations that you own, it's gonna take the good and the bad, and the good is gonna cancel out the bad. So the good stuff that you love about certain foundations, that's what's gonna come through, hopefully. That's the wish and the hope and the dream here. Because I feel like, at least for me, I have not found, like, my perfect foundation. I have found holy grail foundations for sure, but they definitely aren't perfect. You know, things like my Revlon Colorstay or the number seven beautifully matte foundation, the BH Cosmetics foundation, that sort of stuff, they're really, really good but they're not perfect. So hopefully the good in those foundations will like amplify the good in the not so great foundations that I have, you know, like it'll just all the good will cancel out the bad, hopefully. So I've got all of my foundations here. I lined them all up. I squirted them all out into a bowl. You know, I figured since we're doing Frankenstein makeup, may as well use my monster bowl. And I spatula stirred this into this mix. And I'm curious to see about the shade match. I actually think it might be pretty darn good, which I think is so funny seeing other people doing these foundation mixing things. Cause I feel like we all have foundations that are like too light, too dark, kind of almost right. But then somehow mixed together, everyone has been getting their perfect shade of foundation. So I'm hoping that's what's gonna happen here for me. I tried mixing equal parts of all of my foundations together. So we shall see you guys. I am excited to do this test with you all. Zoom you in a little bit here. I'm gonna go ahead and put on my trusty primer because we want to give this frankendation the best shot possible on my face, right? Just in case this ends up being the best thing ever and you're gonna wanna go out and buy every single one of these foundations to mix together yourself. Oh, please don't do that. Please don't do that. <laughs> Even if this ends up being great on my face, I don't think it could be worth that much money. Or else, hey, maybe I just have a formula that I need to create and make my own foundation, huh? It's never gonna happen. I'm just gonna stir this up once again for good measure since I did mix together powder foundation and liquid foundation and cream foundation. So, <laughs> so nervous. I test out so many foundations. I shouldn't think of this any differently. Okay, I'm gonna get the hair out of my face. I'm just gonna put this on with the spatula because why not, right? Why not? No idea what the proper method is going to be, but normally I like to do foundation tests with a clean foundation brush, but I figure since we're mixing all of my foundations together, why not use a dirty one? Because we are mixing all of my foundations together, it would only make sense, right? So I'm smearing this on. It feels moisturizing, I can say that for sure. The color match looks good. <laughs> I can't tell. I'm gonna have to pull my mirror up closer to my face. I can't tell if this is looking good with a brush. I think it might be looking slightly streaky. We can we can blend that out with a sponge. Yeah, no, that's looking ultra streaky. So let's go ahead and blend this out. Hopefully, anyways. <laughs> Honestly, that's not half bad. <laughs> so let's see, go in for another dip. Do this side of my face here. It really, it feels so moisturizing. Definitely goes on so, so, so much better with a sponge. Now let's see if I can kind of double up a little bit on this as concealer. Just in case, you know, want to be thorough. And there we go, I 
definitely think that that helped to further conceal under my eyes. Like I said, you guys, I am not hating the way that this looks on my face. I actually think it looks quite nice. I don't think it settled strangely into my pores or anything. I think the color match looks really good. It looks like a good mix between like a dewy and a satin and a matte. <laughs> like all of the foundations I put together, it makes sense. I am going to go ahead and put on the rest of my makeup and then I will be back in just a second here on YouTube land to check in with you all. So I'll see you in just a second here. Ready? Ding! All right. So here we go. Here is everything. Sorry, I think the snow outside is making the light bounce a little creepily off of my face, but here's my face. I'm very excited, you guys. <laughs> I think the foundation is looking really, really good. Like I said earlier, it seems to be that perfect mix of dewy satin matte that I really like. I think it looks very even. It looks good in my pores. It does look ever so slightly cakier on my chin for whatever reason, so we'll see if that ends up being a problem or anything throughout the day. I have got my flash photography test here for you guys. I think this foundation looks fantastic in the flash photo. It just looks smooth and flawless and lovely. Very healthy and very natural looking, if I do say so myself. So, like I said, I'm very excited about this frankendation here that we have concocted together. I'm excited to bring you guys along with me for my day as per year usual. We can see how this foundation ends up wearing on my face with my very oily skin. Who knows? Like I said, maybe I have found my perfect foundation finally. <laughs> it only took how many hundreds of foundations before I figured out I needed to mix them all together, you know? Sometimes we're slow to come to these conclusions, but hey, maybe this will end up being a disaster and I won't feel quite as bad, but we shall see. I'll be checking in with you all periodically throughout the day as per usual, and then I will just be seeing you all for my final check-in at the very end of the night, so I will see you all then. Bye! <laughs> here. It is currently 12 11 in the morning. I'm so, this is so ridiculous, but I'm pretty darn pleased you guys. I don't know if you noticed, but I haven't had to check in since later this afternoon because I feel great. My foundation feels great. It feels like I'm wearing foundation, so it's not like the lightest weight thing ever, but I haven't felt very oily, slightly oily, but not oily enough where I feel like I need a blotting sheet. I was a little sweaty at one point here when I was bringing all my groceries back to my apartment. And yeah, I just, this is, this is, this was fun. This was a good experiment. <laughs> I'll show you closer up. So as you can see, like I said, I think things look really good. I think my foundation looks like I've been saying that perfect satiny slash matte kind of a texture or finish I guess. The cakiness seems to have gone away on my chin from earlier today. I think the only place where it looks a little iffy is in my nose pores on the sides of my nose but even there it doesn't look too terrible. You know, if I ended up touching my face throughout the day it does come off a little bit the foundation but I don't think you can really tell on my face. So I'm thrilled. This is one of those things where it's like, are you gonna do this every day? Are you gonna mix all your foundations every single day? No, but I am gonna use up the rest of my little batch of Frankendation, whatever you're gonna wanna call it, Frankenstein foundation, mix up, mash up. It's gonna be very rare, I think, for anyone to find one foundation that's like perfect for them. I mean, if you are that person and you have found that foundation, consider yourself so, so lucky. You've been blessed by the foundation gods. But for the rest of us mere mortals, 
Mixing foundations is great. I mean, it's something I do every now and then as well, especially during like changes of season and stuff where it's kind of in between weather and my skin is kind of acting a little, a little much. <laughs> you know, some spots are acting one way, other spots are acting the opposite. It can be great not only to use like one kind of foundation on one part of your face and then another kind of foundation on a different part of your face. It can be great mixing your foundations to make your perfect mix. I personally do that quite a bit where I mix a couple of foundations together and it's a great way to get your money's worth out of stuff. It makes it so that you can wear that ultra matte hyper matte foundation all year round instead of just during the summer. You know then in the winter when you need something a little more hydrating you can add in one or two kind of more hydrating foundations or BB creams whatever into that matte foundation and then you can make something right in between and it'll work great for your skin. If anything I think this is a testament to all of that and it's just a reminder to have fun with your makeup and just your life in general you know, these products that we buy and put on our bodies, they don't have to be kept the way that they were manufactured. You can make them however you want. You can use them to suit your tastes and however you are feeling that day, that week, that whatever. Makeup is an art. We should have fun with it, at least I think so. Let me know in the comments below if there are any other kind of experiments or kind of trendy videos that you would want to see me do or recreate. I think the person that originally started this is Safia. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, Safia Nygaard. She is wonderful. I mean, I'm sure you all know who she is. She is super duper 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 popular here on YouTube. Started out on BuzzFeed, I do believe. She's just really charismatic and a wonderful seeming girl, I think. <laughs> At least, you know, based on her videos and everything and just like super creative. So all the props go to her, I think. Like I said, I think she started this trend. And then, you know, all the other big YouTubers that have followed suit that have done this trend. I think it's really fun to watch everybody and see everybody's reactions. So if you did enjoy this video, please do go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below. I would really appreciate it. And if you're new here, Hey, hi, hello, how are you? You can go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more content from me in the future. You can become a member of my casserole family here on my channel. I would love to have you here. And as always, I just hope you guys are all doing well. Until next time, just stay well until then. Bye!